Oh, hi there. Didn't see you. Did you just look up how to resize images in Python? What a coincidence. I was thinking the exact same thing. Do you want to know how to do that? Come here. I'll show you. Hello everyone. My name is Swaroop. Welcome to this quick tutorial on how to resize images in Python. If you are new to this channel, uh, first of all, welcome. I make videos on programming and software. And if you like this video, you might like some of those other ones too. So you should definitely check those out. We all know that Python can be used for a variety of things. And of course, image manipulation is one such thing. So in this video, that's what we'll do. We'll see how we can resize images using Python. So for this tutorial, I'll be using a library called Pillow. It's a library for working with images in Python. There are a lot of other libraries as well, but this is one of the most popular ones and I quite like it. So that's what we'll use for this tutorial. You can install this if you don't already have it with pip install. So I'll have a link to this in the description down below so you can check that out. To resize an image, we first need to have an image. So for this tutorial, I'll use this beautiful Mount Fuji image that you're seeing right now. Uh, that's what we'll use for this exercise. And if you have noticed, there is a Japan theme to this video. So that is because I was supposed to be in Japan right now for a trip. But thanks to the whole COVID situation, that trip got cancelled. I thought maybe I'll put that in the video. So let's get started then. So the first thing we'll do is to import an uh, image from PIL. So the library pillow that we're using was forked from a previous library called PIL, which stood for Python Imaging Library. And because it's a fork, it kept the same names. Uh, so that's why we have to import from PIL. So the first thing we have to do is get the image into the program. So the way you do that is by calling open on the image uh, and we pass in the name of the image. So in our case, the name is uh, Fujisan. So if I just click on it, so this is the exact image that we just saw. And you can also see that it's a 1920 by 1280 JPEG image. And this is the image that we want to resize. So we can do that with pillow by calling image.show. So if I just do this and if I run this, we should see that uh, the image opens up. So it opens up in your default image viewer application. In my case, it's the Windows Photos application. And as you can see, that's the image that we're working with. So I'll just comment this out because we don't want to see the image every time. So once we have the image with us, the next step is to figure out what its dimensions are. So we already know it's 1920 by 1080 from the image, but let's just try to get that in the program itself. So the way you do that is by calling image.size. So size returns a tuple of the dimension, which is the width and the height. So it's always width first and then height. So you, get, you take it out like this. Now, once you have the width and height with you, you can just print it and verify that it's exactly, it's actually the same image. And uh, if I run this, you can see that we in fact get 1920 and 1280 as you just see. So uh, that's the dimensions of the image we're working with. So once we have the Im dimensions of the, the current image, we have to get the dimensions of the new image that is the one after resizing. So what I want to do here is uh, resize both the length and the breadth, which is the width and the height. Uh, by one third each. So I want the new width to be one third of the original width and same for the height. So let's create those things. And by the way, make sure uh, your width and height are always integers. So we have to actually do integer division here and not a regular division. Uh, that's because the dimensions can't be floating point values. Uh, once we have the new width and new height values, we just have to resize the image and bam, that's it. Uh, so the way you do that is by calling image.resize. And to this, we pass in the new width and the new height. Uh, so this returns the resized image as an object. So I'm storing it into a new object called resized image. And uh, just to see that we have indeed resized it, I'll just print the height and the width of the image just by doing size. So that's what we have so far. So we call the resize, we've passed in the new width and the new height, and we're trying to print the size of the image. Let's try to run this. And we get an error. Well, full disclosure, this was an error that I've planted. So this is because uh, resize actually expects a tuple of dimensions, not just two arguments. So we have to pass it in as a tuple. This is actually a common error that a lot of people do. So I thought I'll show that in the video. So we have to pass in as a tuple. 
so now that we are passing that uh, let's just run this now it should pass uh, without any errors and uh, as you can see we do get the final resized dimensions so we have resized the image now but where is that image so let's just try to show that so we can see that by doing image dot show so just like uh, how it worked before it will open up the photos application and will show the image but just so that we can see the comparison i'll uncomment this one as well so we can see both open up so if we run this uh, as you can see we got two windows popped up if i open this is the original image which you can see the big image right here and the other resized image as you can see is much smaller so that's how we resize image now here we're only showing the image but we can also save it so let's try to save that and i'll just uh, uncomment the show for now so the way you uh, save the image is again quite simple so you just say resized image because that's the image we want to save and just call save on it to the save uh, method we have to pass in the name with which the image needs to be saved so we have already an image fujisan uh, i'll just call it resized fujisan.jpg so that will take the resized image and save it as with this new name on the disk so let's try to run this uh, so it successfully ran the program if we open this image you can see that it's indeed resized and we can see the the size as well which is 640 by 426 so this is how we can resize the images so one thing to make sure you know when you're using resize is that resize doesn't do any validation to keep the aspect ratio so as programmers we have to make sure that uh, we preserve the original proportion of the image so what i mean by that is instead of passing in a proportional width and height i can just pass in any two values to the width and height let's say i've passed in 100 and 400 to this so 100 and 400 we have here is definitely not the same proportion as the original image but if i run this we see that the image all skewed up uh, the aspect ratio got messed up so this is clearly not what we would want as part of resize so we want our resize to be always proportional so for that make sure you keep the width and height always in the same proportion so if i go back and if i run this again and we get back fully uh, original image with the proportions intact so here we have fujisama and here we have fujikun that's a little japanese joke for you so if you get that definitely let me know in the comments down below so that is how you can resize images in python so we just get the size and we resize it with the resize function that's all so hope this video was useful i hope you learned something new in this and if you like this video definitely go ahead and like this video and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye bye